Uh, welcome to today's lesson. Uh, I'm Siam Saka Kian Dems. Again, today we have an interesting lesson, uh, particularly today we we'll look at organic chemistry and we'll focus on uh, actually the properties of nylon, how nylon is formed, as well as um, how we can actually uh, make use of it. And so we go straight into the lesson for today. Well, as I said, uh, in general terms, we are saying uh, nylon is one of the polymer polymers, and they actually is formed through the process known as polymerization. And so we have two types of polymerization, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization. Earlier on, we looked at the addition polymerization, where we said monomers are, <coughs> are all are added together to form actually a polymer. And here, uh, actually the number of atoms remains the same. Because there's nothing which is moved, we merely join them or combine the monomers. And so for condensation polymerization, um, actually this process involves uh, combining the monomers, but in the process actually moving the smaller molecules. For example, in this case, for the formation of uh, terrene, um, actually would be removing water. <clears throat> and so we are saying terrene is formed by condensation polymerization, where the, this is actually a basic process where we combine the monomers, and in the process of combining the monomers, we actually move water. And so this is how nylon is formed. And so <clears throat> where molecules are joined together, while losing small molecules as byproducts, that's what's known as condensation polymerization. And like in addition polymerization, where actually we don't form any other product apart from the, the polymer itself after joining the monomers, because there is nothing removed. Okay, we may have joined the monomers together. And so <clears throat> today we will look at uh, non-natural polymers, which are known as synthetic polymers. We make them actually in the industry or make them in the lab, and so they are not natural. And so we earlier we looked at nylon, which is a polyamide. The polyamide because it has the amide linkage, which is also found in proteins, while terrene is uh, actually a polyester because it has an ester linkage, which is found in fats. And so for this lesson, we are concentrating to look at terrene, which is a polyester. And so uh, terrene is made by combining a monomers and then form a, the long chain, which is known as a polymer. And in the process, actually you remove water. And this process is known as condensation <coughs> polymerization. And so a uh, polyester is actually made by reacting an acid with the, uh, this functional group, which is a COOH, which is the actually functional group for an acid and an alcohol, which has the functional group hydroxy, which is OH and so, when you combine these two monomers by removing water, then you form what is known as terrene. <clears throat> so now, in this, uh, specifically, we look at uh, a, a few monomers that we can be able to join together or combine together to form actually a polymer. For a terrene, one of the monomers can be benzene one for dicarboxylic acid. And so we see here the benzene and the other intermediate uh, molecules are heated through this rectangle. So what is actually shown at the end of this uh, hidden uh, combination of molecules is the carboxylic acid. And so it is dicarboxylic acid because there are two on either side of this uh, actually rectangle. 
And so um, the other monomer, <coughs> monomer which is contains the hydroxy group is actually FM one comma two dial, which a previously it used to be known as ethylene glycol. And so uh, actually it has this hydroxy group where you have oxygen hydrogen at the end of the this rectangle. Here we, are, we have shown it uh, with a different uh, coloration here because uh, actually the intermediate molecules which are hidden here are different from the other monomer which we looked at earlier on with the, the carboxylic actually group. And so this uh, now we show here that uh, we have the carboxylic group with the, which is an acid. And here we have actually the glycol group, which is an alcohol, and they would be alternating like that. And several of them are combined by removing water. You are removing the, the hydroxy or oxygen and hydrogen from the acid and only hydrogen from the alcohol. And when you remove this, actually removing water, it means that now here you are remaining with the this oxygen and carbon, they'll be joined together. And so they will be, once we move the water everywhere here, we're going to have something like this, where you have carbon linked to oxygen with double bond, on the other side, carbon linked to oxygen with one bond. And this is the linkage between these intermediate uh, uh, actual molecules, which are hidden in the rectangle. And so, this is an ester linkage, and no wonder telerine is known as a polyester, meaning many ester linkages linked together. So you have to have keen interest to really see and understand these linkages because they are normally asked in questions. Basically, at times, at all level, to identify which one is an ester linkage. And so for telerine, actually this is the linkage. Well, these rectangles are put here at times, they can be of different shape and different coloration. It doesn't matter. It just shows that there is an intermediate molecule which is hidden here. And we have just seen, shown the end, which is the actual the <laughs> carboxylic group and as well as the hydroxyl group end here. Well, um, I thought, uh, as we have already identified, that uh, this here is the ester linkage, okay, which is also found in fats. And so, <clears throat> because uh, terrine has uh, these properties, it is also widely used in our day-to-day -day life. It's the fiber which is very strong and elastic, which also can or not easily be injured by actually acids. And if you put it in an acid, it will remain intact. <coughs> and so it is easy to wash and to dry very fast. It is also suitable at a high temperature. Also, it's insoluble in most organic solvents. Also, it's resistant to friction. Uh, so because of those properties, we find that actually uh, we find that actually terrain. Um, so this is actually terrain. Uses of terrain. So we find that actually terrain um, is used widely. Okay. So Okay, so we are saying actually the lean is used widely, widely. Um, it is also used in making plastic bottles and clothing, also making films, making cooling fans, making lot proof materials, as well as making nets and ropes. And so because of uh, its properties, we find that actually the lean is widely used in industries. And so I thought today we look at the properties of terrain, how it's formed by 
the condensation polymerization, um, where actually the monomers are joined together and the wire, we are removing water. And that uh, actually we have identified that uh, terrain has an ester linkage. And so I thought today we look at uh, this uh, uh, molecule, which is actually a large molecule, which is a polymer. And so uh, I thought uh, we have actually grasped some concepts to fully understand these synthetic molecules, nylon and terrain. So subscribe to my YouTube so that you continue getting uh, more PC lessons. Thank you.